Hi, my name is Allie and I'm doing the neurovascular assessment today on Toby Jasperson. I'm going to start by entering my patient's room and introducing myself. Hi, Mr. Jasperson. Your nurse today doing your neurovascular assessment. I'm going to start by closing the curtain to provide privacy or shut the door. I'm going to perform hand hygiene and verify my patient using two patient identifiers such as name and date of birth on the bracelet and verbally. So today we're going to be doing a neurovascular assessment where you perform a variety of skills and I test you on them. Um, we're going to start by testing your superficial response to touch and pain, okay? So I've got a Q-tip. And this is the dull side, and this is the sharp side, okay? Yep. I'm going to touch your arms and your hands with your eyes closed, and you're going to tell me if it's sharp or dull, and if it's on, which arm it's on. Put so both your hands, just relax them like this. Close your eyes. Oh, right arm. Sharp right hand. Oh, left hand. Sharp arm. Perfect. Good job. So then we're going to move on to testing your perception of position. So I'm going to take one of your fingers or one of your toes and move them up or down, and you're going to tell me which direction I'm moving them, okay, with your eyes closed. So go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, then we're going to do his toes. Perfect. All right, so he did all that. We're then going to move on to having you identify the right object. Okay, I'm going to put a object that you know what it is in your hand, and you're going to tell me what it is with your eyes closed. Okay? okay. So go ahead and close your eyes. Pen. Perfect. So it is a pen. He did well on that. We're then going to do um, move on to two point discrimination. Okay. So I'm going to touch you in two different. And you're going to tell me if it's two touches or one touch, okay, with your eyes closed. Sure. So, ready? Eyes are closed. Two. 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 One. One. Okay. So, he did well on that. We're then going to move on to having him identify a letter that is drawn on his hand with his eyes closed. So you're going to put your palms out, and you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to tell me what letter I'm drawing on your palm. Perfect. Then we're going to move on to um, identifying which area of the body I'm touching. So it's going to be your arms or your legs. I'm going to have you close your eyes. I'm going to touch an area, and you're going to tell me which area I'm touching, okay? Which arm? Right arm. Right arm. And. and. Alright, good job. So then we're going to move on to testing his superficial and dependent reflexes. We're going to do his bicep reflex and his patellar reflex first, and then we'll move on to testing his plantar reflex and his angle clonus. So I'm going to have you dangle your arm, and I'm going to just hit that. Pin it, okay? Perfect. And then I'm going to do his patellar. So dangle your leg. And I'm going to hit that. All right, perfect. So those are both as expected. We're going to test his Babinski reflex. See if he tests positive for Babinski by taking the end of our reflex hammer and scratching. And the toes will curl inwards. If they curl outwards, that's a positive Babinski reflex. I'm then going to test ankle clonus. So make sure your foot's relaxed, and I'm going to, no, relaxed, relaxed, loose, <laughs> okay, and I'm going to press back and just let it drop. So if there was rebound, that would be positive for ankle clonus. Um, we're then going to move on to evaluating your um, cerebral function and proprioception. So I'm going to have you drop this with your and touch fingers and toes. Okay? So close your eyes, arms out, and you get back. Alright, perfect. Good job. You can try arms down. So then we're going to um, evaluate his coordination and fine motor skills. So I'm going to have you put your hands down on your knees like this. 
And then we're going to pull the palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. Faster. Okay. And then you take your feet like this, pitter paddle and back and forth. All right. So that is as expected. Um, so the next two tests, I'm going to have you stand up. We're going to test your balance. I'm going to have you close your eyes with your hands at your sides, feet together, and just stand there. I'm going to stand next to the patient to provide safety. So go ahead and close your eyes. All right, perfect. He did a great job on that. That was as expected. And then we're going to observe his gait. We're going to observe his posture, his rhythm, his sequence, and his stride. So I'm going to have you come right over here. Perfect. And now walk correctly. And then turn around and walk back. And he did great. Everything was as expected. I'm going to help the patient back out of bed, make sure he has his call light and his um, side rail is up and his table is within reach. I'm going to perform hand hygiene and document my assessment findings.